Patty, Possum Patty here, and I'm going to talk a little bit about nature journaling. Most of my nature journals are these Strathmore 500 series mixed media paper journals. And I think I'm on number 14 right now, so I have 14 of these. And let's see, in 2019, I started a 100 day project where I did a little bit of nature journaling every day for 100 days looking at little mosses and lichens and then fiddleheads and then as the spring flowers came up and the butterflies came out and I also do some art journaling taking notes more art journaling fun stuff hurricanes And let's see, that's number 11, number 12. I do things like this, pages that move. This is a timber doodle or a woodcock, North American woodcock. And they dance when they cross the street. So I have a one that puffs out his chest. And I think I made like about 135 videos on nature journaling. And I'll link that below. So if you want to learn more about nature journaling, please go and check out some of those videos. Sometimes I'm just playing in the mud. Sometimes I'm measuring. Sometimes I'm just staring at rocks. Looking at things under microscopes. Sometimes I write a lot. Sometimes I don't write much at all. Gluing in stuff. This is the estimating wind speed chart, which is good for March, I guess. Sometimes I take a lot of notes and sometimes I just paint a picture. And this is number 13. These are all my discoveries from 2020 in the spring. I worked on a zinnia garden project last year. Oh, this is my little jumping spider. This was a Cinco de Mayo. I found a little jumping spider, so I put him under a sombrero. This was May 4th. I found a tree that looked like it had been attacked by a lightsaber. So I drew Darth Vader. All kinds of stuff. But this year I thought I'd do something a little bit different and I made this Tiny Treasures Nature Journal, which is just about three to a little over three inches in size. And I'm gonna explain how I made this and put it all together. And right now I am just waiting for the Mod Podge to dry on my four leaf clover. So you can follow along in how I made this little tiny journal or you can check out some of my nature journaling videos and I'll put those links below. I'm going to start my Tiny Wonders nature journal with just a bit of packaging and a little piece of Tyvek from a Happy Mail envelope. And I'm going to glue the Tyvek over the spine there to give it a little extra support. So I told myself I wasn't going to fuss around and just get this done quickly. So I'm sitting here fussing around with everything. And I decided just to go with some black paper to cover the cover and the inside and then put some of this pretty little bees and little flowers on the spine and then do the same thing on the inside this way and then I cut a bunch of paper and because the spine is so big I made four signatures with different kinds of paper this is cardstock Japanese paper, tone sketch paper, uh, this is watercolor paper, and I'm thinking about putting some black paper in here too. And the spine is very wide, so that's why I made four little signatures, but I'm thinking do I want to sew them or just put elastics for now. So I've been kind of lazy with sewing 
So I might just put elastics. Or I might sew. Alright, we're going to get this done quickly. And maybe while I'm gluing, I can make up my mind on what I want to do with the signatures. I made the black cardstock large enough to fold to the inside. So it's just two pieces. I glued the outside. Of course, I got glue everywhere. Now I'm going to glue on the inside. Put glue over here. Sure, I got the right one. Okay, glue the outside. Glue the inside spine. So I had my cup of tea and I decided to go with the no sew signature binding. So I'm just putting in some elastic and I made four holes, put four eyelets and I tried to make them straight in a line and of course they didn't come out straight in a line but I'm just not really good at straight. I tried really hard but they're not straight. So I think I'm going to put um, two, two or three pieces in each one maybe. This is very, very thin cheap elastic so I don't know how quick it's going to lose its stretch. So I'm just going to put a couple of different Okay, well the middle has three and the ends have two. And I might just leave it like that. So I need to get this one back over here so I could tie it off. Should I put the knot on the inside? You know what? I'm going to change this. Um, let's see, I'll pull this out here and stick that one in there. There. I can put the knot on the inside. Okay, let's see. Put my paper in. I slipped four signatures in. And I'm going to leave it like that for now. Things always change as I go along. And I was going to write tiny treasures on my tiny nature journal. I was going to write with some white on this black. 
and I don't know if I want to write it this way or this way or this way. I might want to put something there later. Tiny treasures. Maybe I'll put tiny treasures and leave a space for something that I might want to put there after. So I'm just going to write tiny treasures. Tiny treasures, and I might add something to the cover later on. And today is St. Patrick's Day. So I think just for the first page, I am going to add this die cut that Dolores sent me of Clover in Bloom. I'm going to put that on the cover. And on the first page, I am going to put this real four-leaf clover that I picked on my farm in Pennsylvania probably 20 years ago. Okay, so you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to slip this green page out so I can put the clover down on here. And while I'm doing that, I'll glue this in so this has time to dry while I work on my clover. I glued the clover down and I'm thinking about continuing these white dots that are on the fabric onto the black paper. But while I'm thinking about doing that, I'm going to go ahead and Mod Podge my four leaf clover down. And I'm thinking about using Sparkle because it's St. Patty's Day. And I'm thinking about a pot of gold at the end of the rainbow. Oh, a rainbow would be nice, huh? What if I could put a rainbow on there? It is raining out today, although I didn't see a rainbow. Let me see if I have a rainbow. I found this little rainbow that the craft hog gave me in a giveaway. And it is like just the right size to put on the page. And I think I'm just going to make a, a faint rainbow. Okay, put this on a clear block. It's an ink. And I am using, what am I using here? Uh, Distress Oxide Cracked Pistachio. And I want it to go, which way? This way. In the corner. Like that. And I'm just going to put the four leaf clover over there. And I do have the little word rainbow, so maybe I will put that there too. Let's see. Okay, I'm going to put it right down here in the corner. Like that. Rainbow. Just a little subtle tone on tone as a background for my four leaf clover. Now I'm going to use Mod Podge because when you put in dried leaves and flowers and things, 
they tend to crumble. So the Mod Podge, the Mod Podge will seal it in there. And I hope this doesn't come out too sparkly. But I'm going to trim this stem before I even start. And then I'm going to put a date on there. Today's date. And I'm starting my Tiny Treasures Nature Journal. So I'm just going to glue this back on. Whoops, just broke it again. So delicate. I guess there was probably a better way of doing this. Once you get it sealed in there, then it'll be all good. I might have to give it a couple of coats to make sure that it is protected. And happy nature journaling! Bye bye now.